Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, last week we were working on a uh, some prop design and some character design, and I'm gonna pick back up with that. Uh, we went over and we made. I'll show you what we made. We came up with this one little prop, um, but I'm gonna make a couple of more because you never want to give a, a client just a single prop. Um, they will think you haven't spent your time very well and it doesn't leave them any options uh, to to change or alter so um, I'm gonna warm up by doing uh, a couple of alternate versions of this prop and then maybe we'll get into some costume design and, and start fleshing up fleshing out the costume a little bit more for this character uh, I've got my lemonade over here ready to go uh, let me adjust my screen, then I'll make sure I'm not blocking the camera. That's uh, it's an important thing. And it looks like I'm almost out of frame, so let's readjust there. And that looks like it's going to work pretty good. Sweet. All right. Here we go. What are we doing? What's going on? Oh, I'm on a... Locked layer. Cool. Okay. So I did circular pots for the for the sole casing. Uh, as a variant, I'm gonna try more of a more of a, a crystalline shape. I'm just going to kind of rough this in first. And then I kind of want... Um, I kind of want uh, more of a encasement. So, so we'll take this and we'll kind of flush it out real quick and easy. And then kind of polish it up in a second. I take that I'm just gonna rotate these around If you remember from last week when we were talking about this, saying that the concept for this is it's a level up ability that has seven different levels for this character. So they need to be able to unlock or grow to this seventh tier. Um, So I'm real quick, I'm just kind of grabbing these and spinning them around. Rather than drawing this seven times, especially since this is a rough, um, I'm going to work a little smarter, not harder. Get this roughed in like so. And then... And this is the kind of thing that clients are actually going to expect you to think about and do, not not to sit here and draw every single little line. Uh, this this industry is um, brutal in its turnover rate because of things like this. 
Um, they want you to be fast. They want you to produce. And if you can't produce, then you're actually not good for you're not good for business. Um, that's a really unfortunate kind of way to look at things. Uh, but that's how the industry does. They're kind of heartless like that. So you got to be ready and willing to take whatever shortcuts you need to to get your work done. That's pretty cool looking. Yeah, and this is cool enough to show to an art director and be like, hey, this is a quick sketch that I threw together. This took me a minute, two minutes? Um, and they can see it and they can get an idea and they can go, yeah, or no, or whatever the case may be. Um, and we're just going to start merging these down because I don't need all of these on different layers. Now that'll work a little bit better when I do that. Actually, I'm going to put like a little a metal band in the middle there. Yeah, I'm liking that. Let's put some wire wrappings. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of that metal band. I don't like that metal band anymore. So I put it there, and it's not giving me enough. It's not giving me enough rest space for this. But. So I'm trying to think about design elements, you know, big, medium, small, areas of rest, areas of contrast, um, I don't want too many areas that overlap and you can see already that my copy paste technique has caused a bit of a problem because now some of these are not perfectly lined up. Uh, this first one, this second one, this third one down here. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, you can see, like they get progressively, you know, they've got a progressive gap going around. So um, this is a good rough for like just getting the idea out there. But I need to I need to greatly polish this up, and I probably will use the the symmetry tool because it's a weird symmetry, um, just to kind of get the idea out there. Um, real quick before I do that though, let's grab and move this one. Let's just throw it right over there. I'll leave for now. Let's throw this back on. And I'm gonna do Ooh, what if instead of so okay, so I've done a couple of I've, I've done some some large elongated gems, I've done some round gems. I am gonna do some square socketed gems just to just to have a nice variety. I'm going to alter this one one more time. I'm going to turn them all so they're diamonds. Because right now the socket is, is looking good. I'm going to keep it just to kind of have it, but I'm going to I'm going to change them so that they're This is my rough. Just get it laid in there. I'm going to 
inlay that a little bit so it kind of set down below the socket. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. Put a little bit of banding on that. Drag that guy over here, boom, like that. It's good. At least for a rough. And now let's put some diamond shapes. Maybe even elongate them a little bit. I need to not get too carried away with the details right now. I'm in the quick early stages here. Um, I have a tendency at this point to uh, lose myself in details. I'm like, ooh, pretty. I want to detail out all this stuff. And that is um, that's a big no-no. That's This is far too early to be worrying about that kind of shenanigans. I'm going to take this And again, I'm getting a little carried away here with the details. I'm just trying to think of the contrast and the... shape here. I'm liking... that's kind of cool. See, I hadn't even come up with this design yet earlier. So I'm really kind of digging that. That's kind of sweet. Let's keep going. Um, I've got I've got ideas. I've got so many like things flowing through my head right now. So let's just uh, keep rocking and rolling, eh? Let's do. Kind of a teardrop shaped. Big socket, maybe a gem or something down at the kind of a paisley feel right now, which I am not personally a big fan of, but you know what? That's not what I meant to do. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. Nope. Here's what we do to this. We just wipe it out. Mm -hmm. 
and we start over. I'm just throwing some texture into this little section so that I will know that it's supposed to be textured. Actually, I'm going to extend this out to here so it's actually being set upon by the kind of adds a little bit more stability to it. Okay with that. So we'll move that one here. kind of a fractal look going on there. It's kind of cool. Nope. Let's not do that. Some new shape. Get a little little edging going on there. Oh, kick back over to that.
not a fan of that that inside bit but I'm just not a fan of that so I'm just gonna get rid of that a little bit like I wrote actual letters there. Anytime I do crazy fake script I try not to make it look too real. Because um, then you have the chance that somebody's gonna be like hey you'll subconsciously write some things sometimes that you didn't even realize you were accidentally writing you're just like in the zone and you'll offend somebody guaranteed because your brain wasn't focused on what you were writing you were just writing for the sake of writing yeah, that's pretty sweet Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I kind of want to take. Here's what I'm going to do. Get rid of that layer. I've got these roughs that are here now. I've roughed them out. I'm going to drag those down here. I'm going to drag these two up top. Do a little bit of a lasso here. Bring that over here. Okay. We are going to merge these two. So I've got these five that I just kind of quickly threw together. And I am now going to do some variants on a couple of these. I'm thinking this one for sure. This one. And maybe this one. I can do a little bit of a variant on um, this is what we're going to do. We're going to duplicate, clear that, and I am going to just delete some. You know what? Undo that. I got another variant for him too. Okay. Now I'm not gonna do anything fancy with these variants. Uh, I'm literally just going to apply a change to it. Ooh. like a giant symbol in there maybe so super simple see I just did one little change um, let's go with a single symmetry line tool on this guy center that I was concepting a big, big amulet that would rotate 
and kind of spin so I'm kind of So maybe, maybe big feathers on, on it for this one. And I can put the actual amulet handles there. But the idea being that this contraption literally wraps around it and then this can spin freely. Um, Just thinking for this one, uh, alternate that I can do. I was I was wrapping that wiring around earlier, and then I decided it was a bad look. But uh, I'm gonna bring it back. Track that over there real quick. Just because this is still the rough stage, we're just kind of roughing this out. So I'm not gonna worry about it being too varied or different. But just kind of throwing that wrap around there, seeing what I think. Seeing what looks good. Okay, here we go. Let's crisscross it. And immediately I'm not liking that. <laughs> it's it's almost immediate the the uh, it's not it's not that bad. You know what? It's if it's a variant, I'm gonna leave it. We'll throw it all together and, and look at all the all the different changes and everything. Once all the once I get all of them done. Um, okay, I'm thinking, I'm trying to think here real quick of stuff that we can do to make these look cool really quick and easy. Maybe if I try, come up to this one now. So we're kind of jumping around these variants here, but it's all good. Um, if I kind of extrapolate on that that bracket that we got down over here, ugh, gotta forget I can't do that with the symmetry tool on. Um, this one that's got the big wings on it. Let's tr let's try to give a different variant for that maybe. Maybe this one is like a two part with the connection in the back that you can't even see. big brackets there some kind of etching of some sort in the, the bracket so these are a lot more rough these are a lot sketchier than the the one I worked on last week. Um, the one I worked on last week, I, I definitely had like that idea in my head first, and I really wanted to kind of take that one to fruition. I was kind of really leaning pretty heavy on that. However, this is part of the, this is like one of the most important parts of this whole concept design stage is just trying new things, doing doing stuff that you just look at yourself and go, well, that's a really weird thing to do, but, you know, yeah, you've got the perfect design already, and why are you going to keep working on it, but I'm really liking some of these. I'm really liking some of these designs. They're they're inspiring me to, to think of different things. I'll turn that off real quick, throw on at this level. Okay. I'm down here now. We'll come back down to this one over here with the squares. Oh, and I lost my viewer. Uh, mm, mm. Damn. Okay. Let's 
they didn't even say hi that's really rude So, here we go. Hmm. <sighs> not a fan, I'm not gonna lie. Not digging that. It's not really sitting well with me. What if this had a different shape language? What if this was like notched? And then because of that notch, you can actually like see that it overlaps. And you can see that was where my symmetry was off. Try a little filigree going on here. A little bit more ornate looking. More wealthy. Filigree always does that. I don't I don't dislike that one, I'm not gonna lie. I definitely don't dislike that one.
really subtle little things sometimes really make the difference. Now again, this is a rough pass, so... for this guy up top. I think that's... How the hell does that not line up with those? I, <laughs> I drew them using this symmetry tool. That's ridiculous. I think that's the closest I'm going to get. See, I'm just I'm just making some quick subtle alterations to these to kind of add to what's there, you know. Cuz 
because I felt those I felt the squares were a little bit plain just a touch plain we don't want that not in our not in our work you know Okay, let's get these all on a page. Look at them all. And I mean, I pumped out, I really only pumped out maybe six different designs all together. But with these little variations, really quickly I can take one design and end up getting, you know, 15, 20, very, very quickly. Um, and you can give this to your client, and your client will look at it and go, ooh, I like this, I don't like that, I like this, I don't like that. And you can kind of quickly pick and choose what what is working for your current project. Um, I want to try to arrange these a little bit better. So That's the other one, and those guys are on their own. Let's bring those guys down here so they're out of the way when I do this. This is the second thing that's really important to do for your clients. You don't want to make them work harder than they have to. Um, they don't like to do extra work. It's not nice. They don't enjoy it. They want to see what you got, get in, get out, move on. Very, very fast. No time to waste. Time is money. Uh, and treat their money with respect, and they'll respect you. Very... Should be common kind of concept, but you'd be surprised. Um, you'd be surprised how many people forget that clients really, they, they are, it's, it's all about the money to them. You know, it's all time. Time is money.
and they do not like it when you waste their time or their money. So what I'm going to do, I'll take these ones, I'm going to move those two together, that one's on that layer, that one's on a different layer entirely, so I can actually merge this one down, there we go. Now I can lasso these two together, like so. because I know that they're on a different layer. That guy's on a different layer behind them. Yeah, he's on that layer. I can just do that. Put that right on top there. No, I can't put that right there on top because I've cut that off, shit. That'll do, that's good there. down there he's on a different layer so I don't care So if you see what I'm doing here, I'm kind of grouping like images or like patterns. This guy's. You know what? Oh shit. What I should do. Should grab all of these. Pull them all down. And then I'm gonna grab where is he? He's here. Okay. Grab that one. Pull him down. So you can see in his layout here, I've kind of grouped, kind of grouped the similar ones. Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm liking a lot of these. I'm, I'm liking little elements of some of them. I like the diamonds more than squares, honestly. So, like, if you were gonna, if you were to ask me, you know, which ones I would want to advance. No, no. I don't like these wings at all, so these are both dead, okay? Um, this is too plain. It's, it's plain, boring, it was a stepping stone, and uh, it was good for the idea, but, but I don't like it anymore. I like both of these center, too. 
This one has some elements, but it, it feels springy to me. I'm not a fan of that one. Um... I like this one. Here's the thing. I, I like this one, or at least I like this one on the bottom here. But I also like that symbol. Like, I, I would like this top one if it had that symbol in the middle a little bit more, I think. I think that would sell me more on the top one. Um, this one down here, the wrapping looks too much like a like a battery cell um, I don't dislike this middle but again wrapping on the top looks like a it looks like an electrical motor um, and it's not what I was going for um, so that's kind of my breakdown that I'm seeing right here let's merge these so it's all one big sheet boom boom So I could see sending a client a, a, a page with get a little bit different color there. A B C. D. I'm gonna erase this. Uh, e, and then F with the with the other one that I did last week. Um, with that in mind, let's take this. Let's cut the ones that we don't like. Let's clean up the ones that we do. This is a, this is an important process. Not doing work you don't need to do. Okay, you, you don't work on the ones that are crap. You only work on the good ones. And so you're not wasting everybody's time, really. You're, you're just, you're always refining, you're always cutting and, and making choices to cut, and you're always working to put better quality out. So think of that keep that in mind when you're working you want to you want to put a lot of ideas out throw a lot of stuff out I mean you can see how I transitioned from squares okay well let's try it with a diamond oh wow cool that diamond looks really cool I want to do the diamond again you know you can see that I I, I was evolving around this pattern and, and constantly kind of moving around this pattern to kind of get a new shape language down. Get what's a, a good shape language down. <sighs> Sorry about that. Okay, so. Duplicate. Let's cut the crap. Uh, these. All are gonna go. Delete. Dolly. Uh, this one gone. I'm gonna get rid of this one too. It's, uh, it's it's just not quite where I wanted it to be. All right, left with these five. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Silly me. line these guys up now you may be asking me why did you keep these two in the center when they're practically the same design um, 
the reason I kept both of them is because I can see its merits as an individual piece. I can also see its merits with the expanded bracket. I, I like both of those designs, so I think getting rid of one of them or sacrificing one of them would not... I don't think it would be prudent, honestly. I, I think that it's it deserves its own chance even without the bracketing because I think it's I think it's strong oh <gasps> shit man sorry about that I, I I have been running on no sleep the last couple of days I'm probably the last week and I, I finally got some good sleep last night and uh, apparently my body is saying that was not enough to make up for the week long lack of sleep okay so here are the five that we're going to flesh out more we will uh, end up with a total of six prompts to give to a client that they can look at and uh, they can then you know pick which one they really like um i kind of like all of these man these are really really starting to sing to me uh, let me bring up the previous one just so we can you know what, let's uh duplicate it we'll add it to the i'm gonna shrink it down and add it to the spread And see, this one was a more complex prop because it's got a moving part um, in this in this functionality, this this popping open feature. Um, and I really liked that. I really like that feature, and I still really like that feature. I just I don't know. It's it's a tough call. It's a very tough call. And we may we may come through this process and and find that we don't like it as much anymore. And that's that's part of that's part of the beauty of, of prop design and prop creation is you're you're always you're always getting closer to where you should be. You know? Okay. So let's take this layer. We're going to knock it down in opacity. We're going to put a new layer on top of it. I'm going to grab this and we're going to go pure black. Okay. And I need that to be smaller. Small as it'll go. I'm going to go really fine. You may be asking, you know, why am I still using the symmetry tool? Um, the answer is simple, because the designs of these should be symmetrical. So I am not going to try to rely on my eye and hand to make perfect symmetry. That's stupid. Your eye and your hand are not good at that. They are good at approximating. They are good, good at getting close, but uh, you will be greatly disappointed if you're hoping that your hand-eye coordination is 100% perfect. Already.
already I'm starting to see little areas that are not quite right. So now it's time to make those adjustments. Yeah, if you've got tools, use them. Uh, tools are one of those things where it's kind of a, a use them or lose them scenario. There's always going to be somebody who's going to be willing to use those tools that you are so adamant against using. And they're the one that's going to get the job and you're not doing yourself any favors by not using a tool you're helping Steve out Steve's guy is going to take your job they took our gerbs but uh, you're not helping yourself out I'm going to be honest, Steve doesn't care that he took your job. He doesn't care at all about you. Now I'm noticing I made this side a little bit wider than the previous side, so I'm going to try to correct that. See, this is what I was talking about. Your brain is good at approximation, not symmetry. The people that practice symmetry in like the jeweler's world, they spend countless hours measuring, cutting, shaping to get just the right amount. That look wider. I think it does, but you know what? I'm gonna just bevel this edge, and that'll I'll take care of that.
well, there we go. go in and I'm going to start thickening up some of these lines so that I get um, some depth, some overlap, a little bit of variation because I did just use a symmetry tool to make this whole thing. All the music that I'm listening to tonight from a website called Free uh, Free Music Archives. It's a bunch of artists that post music that's licensed free, and so it's kind of just random stuff that I grabbed. But I'm kind of digging this one. Now, when I'm kind of adding these darker shadow lines in, I'm kind of thinking about lighting, overlap, you know, where the light would be coming from, things like that. trying to keep a little bit of sense of consistency going on here so it looks like so it looks like I know what the hell I'm doing 
if you uh, if you have an inconsistent lighting scheme, uh, an art director or whoever's reviewing your portfolio will spot that immediately. Even the bad art directors can spot that really quick, and they will look at you and say, "Oh, have a nice day. You know, it was a pleasure to meet you." It's a uh, it's a nice way of saying get the fuck out. <laughs> Throwing a little bit of a shadow on all of these, make them look like they're all 3D. Boom, boom, boom. That's how you do that. Quick and easy. I mean, I'm not really doing anything super secret here. I'm just going back over the lines I already drew once. And darkening up only some of them. Adding what's called line weight. Uh, this is so important. The, the line weight... I didn't start doing the heavy line weight. I started getting the design laid out, and now I can go back and I can consciously think about, you know, what what my line weight needs to be and where. You know, how it would be affected by the light, how it would be affected by the the reflections or the shadows or the material think about this stuff at this point don't start when you're when you're doing your rough design you don't want to be killing yourself trying to plan out every little shadow cuz then your design isn't going to be it's not going to be organic it's not going to flow correctly you will have spent so much time trying to get every little shadow to be perfect that it's not gonna it's not gonna look perfect it's gonna look forced it's gonna look heavy by doing it here at this stage you allow yourself that freedom to have the experimental or organic phase of design that gives that little sense of life to your your piece that will otherwise be missing but you always got to remember to come back in here and add this stuff add this this strong outline in this stage because otherwise when you get to the the next stage it'll look it'll it'll stand out a little bit too much it won't look right I'm just throwing a little bit of shade in there kind of a A little bit of a, a metallic refraction almost. And sometimes I won't even do that little bit in the line art like I am right now. I'll sometimes save that for the for the coloring phase because I don't wanna overburden the the line art with too many shadows and shadow shapes because you'll force a stiff image. Kind of like 
that. I just I'm not a fan of that. So we're gonna pull those out. I'll do that in the shadowing stage when I when I start coloring underneath. Because I do not want to basically fuck this up that badly. Okay, back to symmetry. Let's add. Might help if I could draw this in evenly. back down to the lightweights. Bam, there you go. It's one medallion. What we're going to do with this sucker is we are going to duplicate him and we are going to move him right like that. Because these two are pretty much the same. This one just has a little bit more embellishment. centered as I can. Small. Maybe asking what I just did there. I was trying to embellish a little bit, see if uh, see if it looked good with an outward hook. I did not think it did, so I decided to go with an inward one. I was thinking that the, the shape language was a little bit too just smooth on the outside edge, and I didn't I didn't want that. I wanted a little bit of a little bit of feeling in there, so. Pull that in a little bit higher than I had originally drawn it. And be 
because I like that divot so much. I'm gonna put one up here to kind of a motif going on. Motifs are a repeating pattern or shape. <sighs> and you can see by my face, it's not good. Now that I don't mind. That I don't mind at all. typically do not recommend what I am doing right now, which is designing well you draw. And the reason is your designs will usually suffer for it, as this one is. the little hooks. So let's go back to there. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. Let's put some brooch hooks on here. I'm thinking... in large clasps but more square than I had originally drawn them on here in the in the quick sketch we're gonna clean those up and make them large clasps like that that will hook into a, a brooch or some some chain or something around his neck now for the big question. Let's make a new layer so I don't fuck this up. Do I do like an alien script? Actually, I'm going to go to this brush. This pen chip. Nope, that was a bad brush choice. Gonna be perfectly honest. Uh, sometimes you're gonna do that. You're gonna, you're gonna go, oh, this is a great idea, and then, no, that was a bad idea. See, I wanted a little bit more depth and darkness to the lines, but that pen, the smallest it gets down to is a 2.0. You end up being locked in with whatever okay I got like a crazy font thing going on or I can do Do a filigree.
As much as I like that filigree, I don't feel as if it fits with the rest of the design. That's the important thing. Like, if you've got one element that just doesn't sit well with the rest of your design or your pattern, you've got to get rid of it. You cannot let it, even if it's the coolest element ever, you can't let it bring down the whole thing. making that magical script a little bit bigger. Trying not to repeat my personal shape choices too much. I like that. I like that a lot more than the previous scripts or anything. Let me do one more thing. Duplicate that, lower that opacity way down. It's going to be tough. If you listen hard enough, you can probably hear the racetrack that's near my house.
off. I'll go back in here and I'll kind of pop each one of these out individually. Now in addition to that I gotta pop this line to show that it is on top of Here, I'm going to do the same pop, pop, pop. Yeah. I think it adds a nice contrast, but at the same time, it I'm not a fan. I don't know. I don't. I don't. Something about it is not not there. So I think I'm gonna stick with this one. Tried a bunch of things. 
it didn't work out we're moving on Actually, I'm starting to fade here. I think we got a pretty good amount done. We got a bunch of roughs for these done. We got a couple of finished products coming out. Um, I think they look pretty sweet. Um, I'm going to come back and finish up these other ones and then put them all together on a nice layout sheet with, you know, with the options. And then then we'll move on to costuming and we'll get some costuming done. Um, I'm kind of bouncing around on projects lately, so you may tune in and see that I'm working on an illustration or something else, or I don't know. Um, chime in, say hi. Um, love to hang out and chat. I'd love to talk to you about whatever I'm working on. Um, just say hi, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, hope you guys have a good night.